All right, let's take a bite of the nightmare king. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food review just for you and just for you. I'm in the very dark, spooky town of Hamburg, New York, because earlier today I drove all the way down from Toronto area to do the Nightmare King from Burger King. Apparently it's supposed to give you nightmares. I'll let you know tomorrow. It's 11, 9, 11.89 here in Hamburg with a dollar four tax, came to 12.99. I handed her two fives originally thinking it was gonna be under 10 bucks like usual, but no, not this place. Um, she's like, oh, it's an expensive one. Brought my own straw, metal straw, throw that in there. Grabbed a pop, haven't had a pop in a couple days. Cheers. Cold ice. Show the logo. Gotta always show the logo, people. If you remember two years ago, the Black Bun Burger had some kind of interesting effects on people's track systems. So we'll see what this does to people in the morning. We've got one, two, three, four bonus fries. We haven't had bonus fries in a while. One, two, three, four. There's nothing better than bonus fries. It would have been nice if they'd done something kind of Halloween-y to the fries, especially when you get it as a meal. I did this out as a meal just so you guys understand how much it costs in this area. And I like their fries. Okay, let's check out this packaging. <clears throat> I'm thinking at this point in time it's upside down, um, just the way I'm holding it. So maybe we should flip it over. There we go. Oh boy. It's it's not as green as I thought it was going to be, especially when you saw the original ads. I guess it was just the lighting they used, possibly the Photoshop they used too. That, that's kind of interesting. I thought it was upside down, but it's not. It's just squashed. Check that out. I'm hoping you guys like the fact that it's nighttime doing a, the nightmare. That's the only time you should be doing something like this. All right, let's pick this up. So it's a green sesame seed bun a little on the disturbing side i'm not sure if this would give me nightmares because the only thing that really gives me nightmares is pickles and i don't think they put pickles on this let's check this out okay the bottom bun looks a little more orange in this lighting it almost looks like somebody has been messing with the astro turf scratch that sniff that the rest is mine so nothing on the bottom We've got the, um, the, the, I guess it's the, the Whopper patty, the quarter pound patty on the bottom. And then we've got a slice of processed ooey gooey cheese and it's steamy, which is a good sign. Okay. And we've got the chicken. We've got mayo. We've got onions. Some people I read up uh, when I posted earlier today, some people said they ate it and the onions were too strong. So these look like regular onions. Uh, red onions are usually much stronger. We got bacon on there too. And uh, we've got this big slice of chicken on there too. I guess it's a uh, deep fried chicken breast. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not sure what they do to this bun to make it look this green, but it's all shiny. You guys can't tell from that angle, but because the light's coming from there. I, used to, I did have these on earlier. My interior lights just to possibly help. Hopefully my battery doesn't go dead. I need a boost here in Hamburg. All right, let's take a bite of the Nightmare King. Nightmare King. Crunchy. Has that Whopper flair to it. The flame broiled patty. So all the crunch I got was from the onions, the bacon, and that chicken. But I, I barely tasted the chicken. It was more of the beef and the um, the bacon. 
Let's see if we can get out. It's, it's very floppy. I'm wondering if they used a, um, a spinach in the processing of the bun to make it this green or was it just food dye? If you work at Burger King and you know those answers, please let everybody else know in the comments below. There's nothing about it at the moment that's bad, except the fact that this, this won't stay together. Check it out, scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. We forgot to also compare this one to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Does it look the same? Once again, probably not. There's reality, and then there's advertising. Completely different. One person did say, mention about the onions, and there are, like as I'm just sitting here, I'm not tasting anything else anymore except onion. So maybe we'll just take a couple pieces off. I just lost a piece of bun. So it said thick bacon. I don't think I don't I don't think that's thick bacon. I think it even said extra thick bacon. But it definitely is better bacon than what I had in Canada not too long ago. That bacon in Canada, I'm not sure where they get their bacon from. It's not the same as this place. I'm just going to take one of the strips of onion off. Maybe that will help. I doubt it, but... But, again, this is one of those meals that I'm liking enough that I need to give a midnight shout-out bite. Let's just hang on, guys. It does have a kind of a funny... Can't quite place the flavoring of the bun. It definitely doesn't taste like a regular bun. If you were to give me a hamburger bun from, from Burger King and then blindfold me and give me some of this, you'd be like, yeah, something different about it. It's not a bad different. It is definitely a difference in flavor. All right, guys, I am going to give a midnight shout out bite to all those amazing men and women and children who watch my show. Well, the children should be in bed by that time. So all the men and women who are the age where you can stay up late enough to watch my shows at 12 midnight when the wolves howl. And you're gonna have a nightmare, apparently. All right, the shout out bite goes out to you guys. Mm. I'm liking that. All right, guys, as you know, I'm always hungry. I'm gonna polish the rest of this off, see if I get a nightmare, and I'll be right back. Hang on. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Yes, it did. Cool. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna give Burger King's Nightmare King. I would recommend, I really did like it. It was a lot of food. If you're hungry and you got an extra 13 bucks lying around and you wanna try something strange and weird, then give it a shot. Uh, if you don't wanna, wait till next year's weird promotion from Burger King. I personally can't see anything in that burger giving me a nightmare. Like I said, unless there were pickles in it, then I would scream bloody murder. All right guys, if you enjoyed this video and you don't wanna miss any more, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you and you, then hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic food review. Ken Domic out. Boop. If I just had one more sheet of paper right there, that's what it work, eh? Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back, right? Do it again. In and around the area of, oh my God, dude. It would have been nice if they uh, did some, oh, I almost lost one. Almost had an unbonus fry. Got to do the facial expressions, people. Makes a good thumbnail.
crotch fry. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Two points for Ken. Did it go in? Did it really? Nope. I'm gonna give Burger King's Nightmare Mac. Nope. Nightmare Mac? Are you kidding me? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.